Hi everyone, welcome back to Gomes Tech Talks channel. In this video series, okay, so I'm planning to publish uh, five to eight episodes where you will be learning about different components that make up a typical extension. So I'll start with a brief description of the development environment and I'll tell you like what are the objects which we are planning to create it and finally we'll be developing an extension. Okay, so uh, you can extend Business Central with add-on apps like vertical or horizontal solutions and integrate with other products and services. So to customize Business Central, we typically develop one or more extensions or also referred as apps. So extensions is a programming model where functionality is defined as an addition to existing object and it defines how these objects are different or modify the behavior of the solution. So you can think uh, this as an add-ons. Okay, if you are if you have already used something like a word or PowerPoint, so you can see some add-ins in that. Even here, you can see that we have extensions. Okay, so if you just go here and check for, you can see various extensions. This is like add-on. Okay, which is an additional programs, additional app, a small app which will give you some more uh, uh, functionality to the existing one. So all functionalities in Business Central is coded in objects, objects like table, page, reports, everything. So the extension model is object based. You can create new objects and extend existing object depending on what you want your extensions to do. Okay, so we have to code all these objects. We have to uh, use these objects or stored as a code, which are known as application language, which is called AL code. Okay, and we'll be saving it as a dot AL file extension. So you can see here we are saving it as a dot file extension. So AL is basically a programming language which is specifically for Business Central in order to retrieve, insert, modify, uh, or update any records in your Business Central. Okay, so we'll be understanding about all these AL, uh, the basics of AL and also we will create extensions on this. Okay, so Visual Studio Code is the uh, studio, uh, is the IDE which we will be using it to develop Business Central through AL language. Okay, so if you want to know more about AL language, just uh, go to Gomes Tech Talks channel where you can find Business Central complete tutorial. Okay, that is a Business Central playlist here where I have uploaded 122 videos and I'll be uploading. You can see every Saturday I'll be updating this particular playlist. So watch on every Saturday. Okay, so here you can see right from the basics. So here you can see that this is business central learning path, how to start with. And this is overview and getting started. This is very, very important before you start developing the extension. And also, if you wanted to create, a, uh, if you wanted to try with a tut uh, trial version, you can also try with a trial version. And also I have updated how to use the trial version, how to create a trial version in business central here okay and uh, how to create on microsoft.com um, mail id so everything i have added here in my playlist so if you haven't subscribed to my video please if you haven't subscribed to my channel please go and subscribe now and consider joining as a member so that you will get ac exclusive access to the perks like uh, pdf documents you can mail me if you have any queries you can ask me if you have any suggestions you can tell me so all these things and i'll be sharing the interview questions exclusive for the members and uh, everything okay so these are the um, tutorials where you can just go ahead and uh, uh, see more explanations on that okay so extensions so as we wanted to talk about the extensions okay extensions are like um uh, which is a compiled as a dot app package okay extensions are compiled as dot app package okay and the dot app package file can be deployed to the business central server so this dot app package we'll be deploying it in the business central So this dot app package will be deploying it in the business central. 
that is a business central server so a dot app package contains of various artifacts that deliver new functionality to the business central development okay when all development and testing is done you can submit your extension package to the microsoft app source so we will be understanding how to create an uh, uh, extension for business central okay so now let us just try to uh try to see how to create an extension so before creating an extension okay uh you should know like uh you should know how to set up the visual studio code how to enable how to download how to install everything okay you should know everything and we have some i have a scenario where we will be seeing what we are going to do what type of extension we will be creating okay so this is the scenario where we are going to work okay so this scenario is all about a reward customer reward level okay so how to build a customer reward level and uh, yes so the in business central we will be working with the customers mostly okay and uh, who are the source of your income in business central so you want to keep track of the number of sales orders that customers have okay you have to keep track of the number of sales orders that customers have for this specific reason you will develop an extension that lets customer accrue reward points for each sales order so whenever they have where they are purchasing something so their reward level will be increased okay you have to add the reward to them okay so the extension will enable you to set up any number of reward levels so this extension whatever the number of reward uh, reward levels you wanted to add you can do it so depending on the reward points that customer has accrued the customer will be assigned a reward level this extension will be adding like a um, number of reward levels and the minimum number of reward points that are required to attain that particular level and when no reward levels are set up the customer's reward is reward uh, reward level is set to none okay so this is what we are going to um, going to write it okay this is what we are going to do in today's uh, like we are going to just start with and this is a introduction episode uh, so you can see here uh, that see so what are the things which we are going to create for this extension is what this is a table okay we'll be creating a reward level table activation code table customer management customer rewards management table and reward level list page sorry so this, this page will come here okay so we'll be creating a customer card page customer list page customer rewards wizards page and uh, we'll be creating a small code unit a reward extension management code unit and finally we'll be setting up an extension so this is what we are going to see okay so let us first start with uh, creating a simple table okay before that you have to uh, set up a development environment and you can see all the uh, exercises so i'll be uploading all the exercises in my a uh, blog okay learn with gomes blog where you can find how to set up a extension so here you can see you have a quiz here okay and you can see there is an exercise for technical consultant and exercises for functional consultant so i'll be adding the exercises here so don't uh, worry so if you wanted to know how to set up a business central uh, page okay that is how to set up a business central environment just go ahead and watch it here okay you can find everything in my blog okay and yes now let us create a simple table uh, which is the first table okay that is what we have discussed that is reward level page so you have to create this is what the scenario the reward level table will store different reward levels and the points that are required to acquire on award level so that we will be creating a table with two fields that is level and minimum reward level okay so we are going to create the reward level table object let us just start typing so t table okay t table and you have to start with an id mm so depending on the object id which you have you can just create it and i am naming it as a reward level okay fine and you can see there is a caption you can create a caption for this and it should be like a reward level yes and a uh, table type i'm just going to make the table type as you can see there are various table types okay normal temporary microsoft graph external sql exchange so i'm just going to make it as normal 
okay and the data classification okay to be classified it is as of now it is to be classified and for the first field i'm just going to uh, give that field name as level okay and uh, it is to be level as the text so i'm just going to make this as text and i'm just giving the um, storage space for this and then next we can create a caption for this it's better to give caption for all the field which you are creating and i'm going to create a second field if you want to create an another field just go ahead and type t field where it will give you the field name and i'm just going to give minimum reward points okay and it should be integer because the points will be in integer it will be like one two three four like that okay and uh, you can just create a caption here caption and i'm just going to make it as a maximum uh, sorry minimum reward point and minimum value i'm just going to set as zero and uh, it should not be blank okay so not blank which is equal to true okay so i'm just going to make it as so minimum value we cannot use it here so i'm just going to create a min value okay min value which is, is equal to zero so minimum value it should be zero and i'm just going to make it so here i'm going to write the trigger t trigger and on what we are going to make it as on validate so on validate i'm going to assign a reward level here so reward level so it should be like record okay we have a reward level which is a record we have okay which is a table so this is what the table reward level is the table here which is this okay and i'm creating a temporary point which is integer okay so inside begin i'm just going to make it as temp point which should be is equal to minimum reward point okay so this is what this is the field so temp point is equal to minimum reward point reward level dot set range so i'm just going to set the range here and it should be minimum reward points temp point okay if not reward level dot is empty then error minimum reward point must error we have to uh, display an error what error minimum reward points must be unique okay and i'm just ending this and finally it should come to an end okay and this is the basic trigger which we have written and i'm just going to create a primary key here primary key and the primary key is level okay and it should be cluster is equal to true and the second key which i'm creating and it should be minimum reward points okay and it should be unique is equal to true and trigger there is no variable for me so trigger on insert i can just type something like validate it has to validate while inserting so minimum reward points and on modify it should validate it should validate minimum reward points okay so if you want to add on delete and on rename you can just make like you can add on delete uh, trigger and also on rename trigger okay 
so that's it so we have created a table reward level if you wanted to add more fields into it and more uh, validation into it you can just go ahead and validate so if you want to know about what is the set range and why we are using is empty okay so reward level you should not uh, leave it as empty okay so there are another uh, uh, fields and records as well that is the field property as well which you can use it but here if the reward level is empty it should throw an error and it should not allow you to move to the next one so that is why we have written this trigger and it will validate when when you are trying to enter the minimum reward points okay so that's it so what uh, we'll be creating is what next we have a few more tables to create and then pages to create and we'll be creating a code unit and finally we will create this as an app okay that's all uh, for this particular uh, session so in the next session we'll be discussing about how to create an another tables and further uh, pages list page and we will learn about the table types as well so since we have seen various types of table here like a uh, which uh, like a temporary table normal table what all these tables are talking about okay so we'll be discussing about all these things in the next upcoming video so please stay tuned don't forget to uh, watch it on every saturday evening five o'clock and i'll be updating i'll be uploading the next episode in the next saturday thank you take care bye bye